Hello and welcome to this week's OutSystems Advocacy Team video. My name is Jay Santos and today we're going to talk about manipulating data before plotting your charts. So let's get started. In this video we will be building on top of the line chart that was created on the previous chart videos. I will share the link for uh, those videos in the description of this one and if you haven't watched them before I highly encourage you to check them out to understand the general structure of our application. The way we've added data to our line chart in the previous demo was by directly setting the output of an aggregate done in the preparation to the source data point list. Now, if we check uh, one of the demos of HighChart, and it's the demo we'll be doing in a few moments by adding uh, customized labels to a line chart, if we check it out, we can see that the the preparation of the line chart is manipulating the data array so it's going into the data array and setting up a specific marker to a specific point in the array itself so now let's see how we can do that when we use high charts within out systems before we go over what we're doing the preparation just one small detail is that on the, our, on the previous chart that i've shown we are showing a one full year of US dollar to your euro exchange rate. So that's 365 data points. In that chart, the data points may be a little bit too cluttered because there's a lot of information. So for the label demo, I've limited the number of points to 31. So my aggregate here is just returning 31 records uh, representing the month of January. Right, uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going over each one of the points returned by the aggregate and the first thing I do is I assign the data point variable, I assign the label to the date of the exchange rate, the value to the rate itself, and I set the data series name to exchange rate. Once the data point variable is set, I append it to the data point list. And over here on this couple of ifs, what I'm doing is I'm checking if the current rate is higher than our highest rate, and if so, I save the highest rate value and index and I do the same for the lowest rate. And I'm doing that so I can uh, finally customize these specific data points in the future. So once the iteration is done, I do some formatting for the Y axis and the X axis. And once again, I encourage you to check out the video on the description below to understand what I'm doing here. And finally, I call the advanced format init action. On, on the advanced format init, what I'm doing is I am adding a couple of items to the data points format uh, list. And these items will customize the data points with the specific uh, markers that I want to use. So to add an item to this list, all you, have to, all you have to do is click on this plus sign here. On side, I'm going to add an item. And each one of the items have two parameters. The first one being the data point itself, meaning the data point you want to manipulate. And on the first one, what I'm doing is I am getting my data point list and I'm going to the highest rate index that I've saved when I was iterating over the return of the aggregate. So for the, uh, for the item on the highest rate index position, what I'm doing is I'm simply setting the marker parameter to use the symbol present on this URL here, which is pretty much the same image that, I, that was used on the high charts demo. To better understand the usage of, this, uh, of these parameters, once again, I encourage you to check the high charts API. So for the highest rate, I'm setting uh, the sun image, and for the lowest rate, I'm setting the snow image. And finally, on the high charts JSON of the advanced format itself, all I'm adding is just a marker parameter with enabled set to true in order to show these markers. And I've already have it published, so let's have a look at the result. As you can see here, once again, I've uh, reduced the number of entries on my chart to 31 instead of the full year. Uh, so in January, my highest uh, rate was right here on January 28th. So I'm adding the, the sun icon here and the lowest one was on January the 9th, and I'm adding uh, a customized icon here. Of course, I'm doing a very basic exa example here, 
but uh, the idea is to show how you access manipulate this data array coming from your aggregates. So that's it for today's video. As always, I hope it was useful and helpful for you. Uh, feedback is always welcome. If you have suggestions for topics in the future, that's very welcome too. Once again, my name is Jay Santos. I'm at j.santos.outsystems.com and I'm on Twitter as well as at joutsystems. Thank you very much and I see you on the next video.